In this episode of Research Bites, we are joined by Professor Deepa Mani to discuss the impact study of common service centers. Somewhere in the late 90s, the internet would emerge as an important channel of delivery of various services and also as an important channel of business. The rural areas in India were excluded from this phenomenon because of a digital divide. The Indian government had this idea of setting up common service centers to bridge this digital divide. So the Ministry of Electronics and IT, as part of its national e-governance plan, set up these common service centers as an important means to scale last mile delivery of e-governance services and also promote local entrepreneurship in villages. Over time, CSEs have been vehicles of change spurring rural entrepreneurship across the country. The CSEs started off as providers of G2C services, but over time have expanded their portfolio to include a whole range of B2C products and services. As a result, CSEs today represent a strong and salient channel for grassroots economy development and bottom of pyramid markets in India. There are more than eight and a half lakh CSEs today, uh, you know, which reflects large scale impact. And several hundreds of these are earning well over 100 crores in annual revenue. All of this makes entrepreneurship very aspirational in the rural areas in which the scheme is embedded. Behind the success of the CSE scheme is a dominant force of subsistence entrepreneurship to drive subsistence entrepreneurship at scale. That was the objective of the CSC. And therefore, it's important for the government to provide the supportive ecosystem that nurtures this entrepreneurship that becomes very important. The Ministry of IT and the CSC Academy commissioned the Indian School of Business to document and demonstrate the impacts the CSCs had had in the regions they were set up. These kinds of papers are very important because they promote evidence-based policy making. In the absence of rigorous evidence from the ground, these kinds of important policy decisions that create impact at scale are left to the opinions, whims even, of policy makers and other key decision makers in government. We wanted to study not just the effects on rural entrepreneurship, uh, you know, but also to understand what were the impact on citizens that these CSEs and VLEs served. To understand the success of village-level entrepreneurs, the assessment study looked for specific traits, ones that not only drive individual performance, but also business success. Like achievement motivation, your self-belief, whether you have a mindset that embraces challenges as learning opportunities, or you embrace them as points to give up, all of these are intrinsic traits of the entrepreneur. These traits have a significant impact on how an entrepreneur makes strategic decisions. But given the context of rural India, there's always a degree of variance. Variance not just with the traits of these entrepreneurs, but also the ecosystems they're embedded in. Different state governments provide different types of supportive environments for their entrepreneurs in terms of their adoption of business-friendly laws, in terms of the environment that they provide to entrepreneurs, in terms of training, in terms of shift to uh, formal sector, etc. So there is a lot of variance that we discerned across states and this variance also explained variance in entrepreneurial outcomes. We also found that this variance was explained by who these individuals were, where they were situated, what they did, and most important, what they knew. What they know is in terms of the strategies that the entrepreneurs affected in their businesses to be successful. Some of them would, for instance, employ successful marketing strategies. Some of them would adopt a more word of mouth strategy in restricting their business only to you know, the local villagers or a population that they knew. Some of them uh, used family funds and therefore limited the investment that they could put into their businesses. So what they did was a bunch of all of this. While the sample set of this assessment study was restricted to village level entrepreneurs, the learnings can be extrapolated to apply to a larger context of entrepreneurship. All of these we discover and research shows us can be taught. And that was for us the most important outcome of this study, which is, you could train these entrepreneurs 
to do differently what they did, to know differently what they knew, and in turn drive success. We designed a learning intervention for village level entrepreneurs that involves literacy in basic finance and marketing as well as behavioral skills. We believe that this intervention will help these entrepreneurs scale their entrepreneurial efforts to include a wider range of products, services, as well as even geographies. The CAC scheme, along with the village level entrepreneurs, can actually pave the way for digital empowerment of rural citizens. This could be through literacy programs or by enhancing local demands for newer products and services. This invariably creates a self-sustaining cycle of business opportunities across rural India. So there were a bunch of important impacts that they created beyond delivery of e-governance services. All of this was an outcome of being able to bridge the digital divide. In the process, they made entrepreneurship aspirational in the rural areas. 